Hello everyone, Leah here, and welcome back to Leah's 10-Minute Painting Exercise, where we talk about chronic health issues, vlog, blog, diary type thing. <laughs> um, so for today's painting, I'm using soft body acrylics that are from Nova Color, along with some mixed media materials that I'll be using to create a floral painting. Now, when I sat down to paint, I went in with no intention. Just a need to breathe, to let go, quiet the noises, and release the emotions that I had been holding on to. So I put on some uplifting music, I set an alarm on my watch, and I just let intuition take over. And for today's discussion, I was really nervous about posting my first video where I talked about my chronic health. Um, just the fact that I have it, like I have issues, but I use art as a tool towards healing. Um, but I, I thought I would share another story, one that others have heard before. Um, I even used it during one of my college art um, projects for school. and. I just found it so fitting with what I'm going through right now and how I had this, you know, I saw this video on TikTok and they were like, if I only I could tell my younger self and I was like, man, if only I could tell my younger self that that doctor I saw in high school was downplaying this allergy of mine, calling it a sensitivity because if I had known what I know today, whew. I think life would be just that little bit easier. So let me backtrack to what I'm referring to. Um, all my life, I have known that dairy and I do not mix. I have what is called a sensitivity to it. So, you know, people with dairy sensitivities, they can take medication that are called like lactate or something fancy like that, that allow you to digest dairy so you can eat it just like everyone else. And I've done that all my life. Um, but I did have a doctor when I was in high school that insisted on doing a dairy allergy test, despite me saying, I'm definitely allergic to dairy. He didn't believe me, so he wanted to confirm it. And <laughs> the process of doing it back then, don't know if it's changed, is that I went to the hospital with the intention of being there all afternoon because the process of doing this test was I needed to drink some disgusting liquid and then periodically I would have to go back in and blow into a tube. Somehow this measured your level of allergy and sensitivities to dairy. I am <laughs> two hours into this test. At this point, I am practicing my school's um, dance for the school play that I needed to memorize. And I'm looking at my mom and I'm like, I don't think I'm allergic to dairy anymore. Like, yeah, I feel fine. Like, da, 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 da. but um, yeah, no. Turns out the very, like two seconds later, the very next moment I am called in to blow into the tube. Only the nurse tells me I can go home because I am definitely allergic to dairy. And I was all like, oh, well, okay and I go tell my mom she did not believe me she had to go in and confirm because she just believed I was lying and <laughs> trying to get out of being at the hospital because I do not like hospitals but really who does um, and she came back out with tears because the doctor that was running the test was like your daughter's so allergic to dairy she doesn't know she's having a reaction right now because this is how she feels all the time. Because, you know, dairy can be found in bread. It can be found in so many things that you don't know you need to take a milk pill for. So I don't even know that I'm having a reaction. Let's just say I was sick for a very long time after that test because I did get physically sick afterwards. <laughs> um, but my doctor that had me do that test did not tell me to avoid dairy you know like my allergy wasn't an anaphylactic allergy um, it's not life-threatening it's just a extreme sensitivity so i could go on just making sure that 
Everything I ate that consisted of dairy had me taking milk pills. Um, I wish my doctor back then had told me though just how severe it was because you know when you're a teenager you hear these things and sometimes you take it in but you don't really comprehend the severity of it like he needed to really tell me he should have told me then not to have dairy to become basically vegan to avoid it 100 percent because if i had known that younger i wouldn't be in the position that i am in now dealing with sorry there's a truck outside i don't know if you just heard the honk <laughs> um anyways dealing with <sighs> something new added on top of what I'm currently dealing with for my chronic health issues. So I've been dealing with issues with my throat where I'm in so much pain that I can't really talk that much during the day because it hurts. Like it's painful. And I started experiencing issues with swallowing when I'm eating. Oh my goodness, what is that truck doing? I'm not stopping. I'm just going to keep going. I am doing this. Um, but <laughs> okay. Or I'm like, okay, so where was I? Um, so I, I'm dealing with um, problems with eating food and talking on top of everything else. So I have a family doctor that's not too sure what's wrong that's sending me to specialists and these specialists are saying well that's not my area of expertise you need to see this doctor but that doctor says that's not my area of expertise you need to go and see this doctor and it got to the point where I had seen two different ENTs so ear nose and throat doctors um, one blamed it on acid reflux and also told me I needed to do voice therapy to relearn how to use my vocal cords properly. Um, but I do have a gastrointestinal doctor and he's like, what you're dealing with is not the result of acid reflux or anything like this. You need to see an ENT. This is their area of expertise. And because I'm having that experience with the doctors, I got so fed up, I just ignored it for a very long time. I let it get worse until I was like, I can't take it anymore. I have to do something about this. So I go and see a new ENT. And uh, let's just say she was the worst experience I've ever had with a doctor. She literally spent five minutes with me. Um, told me I needed to relax more and I had nothing wrong with me. Despite the fact that when I've seen the previous ENT, he looked in my throat and was like, yeah, your vocal cords are inflamed and there are physical things there, but that's not something I can help you with. That's something else. So she's like, nope, there's nothing wrong with you. And she leaves. I... At this point, was so fed up, I went home and cried because I just didn't know what to do. And when I told my gastrointestinal doctor what I was experiencing with my throat again and how the ENTs were of no help to me whatsoever, he was like, look, I don't know what it is. It's definitely not a symptom I've ever seen before for these things that they're suggesting it is, but I'm going to do some biopsies while I'm down there because he was going to be sending a, a lot of scopes into my body to check up on some issues that I was dealing with anyways. So might as well do some extra biopsies. But in the meantime, to solve the issues that I'm having with my stomach, he thinks that the solution for it is to go 100% dairy free and to try it for a month. If I don't feel better at the end of it, it's fine. Clearly, dairy wasn't the issue. But do you know what I discovered in going completely dairy-free? It may not have solved my stomach problems, but it solved my throat problems. Somehow, magically, going dairy-free got rid of all the bumps and issues that I was having with my throat. I could swallow better. 
my vocal cords do not hurt as much as they used to. Like before, I would be in pain just recording this voiceover. Talking for, you know, 12 minutes straight would be severely painful for me and I wouldn't be able to talk for the rest of the day. Now it's just an uncomfortable sensation. And I have exercises that I can do to help relax my vocal cords thanks to having a voice therapist teach me things. Even though having a voice therapist didn't actually help (laughs) pre-dairy free. Um, But yeah, I even got sent to a vocal cord specialist type of ENT. So I'm now two months post dairy free, 100%. God, I miss cheese. Um, And he looked down my throat and he's like, your vocal cords are healthy. They are 100% healthy. There is nothing wrong with you anymore. However, there are unforeseen side effects. Like I still have pain, right? And that could be because I had done so much damage that maybe it's more of an internal nerve issue. Maybe it flared fibromyalgia in my throat and my vocal cords. Despite them being visibly healthy, there will always be a potential problem with them now. But It's one of those things where it's when you're younger, if only you had known. And I feel like I, with chronic health issues, we experience this quite frequently where if only we had known because if only the doctor we had was actually transparent. If only um, the doctor that we had listened to us before we went through years of suffering and having to see another doctor to find the solution, even though they were the same area of expertise. You know, there's a lot of things where you can wish, if only you could tell your younger self. I find it baffling still to this day that my dairy sensitivity was so bad and that despite the fact that I was taking medication to help my body digest the dairy, I actually wasn't doing anything to stop my body from reacting in a different way it's baffling to me but i don't know if any of you have experienced the same kind of thing and i don't want you to feel like you have to share in the comment section below this video i'm not asking for that from you guys it's not about um getting you to share It's about letting you guys know that you aren't alone and that you can experience these strange things and these most simplest of solutions to the most, you know, unknown conundrum situations. And I just want to share this story with you guys so you know you're not alone. And I I understand you. I'm with you 100%. So... Thank you so much, everyone, for watching this video, for taking part in this discussion. And until next time, stay magical.